Hello guys, uh, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. So in today's video, we are going to develop a very small program that will allow the user to find the number of days in a month. So let's say, for example, that we want a program where the user is going to type uh, an integer value, an integer number, for example, from 1 to 12. And the program must be able to give the user the equivalent, okay, uh, month. For example, if you type one, the system must tell the user that one is equal to January. And then after giving the month, uh, the system, our program must also tell the user how many days uh, there are in the month of January. Okay, so the same thing, if the user types in two, the program must tell the user that two is corresponding to the month of February. And then the, the program must also tell the user that February has 28 days or 29 days, depending on whether the year is a leap year or not. So that's what we're going to uh, determine. So we the, the system must also uh, allow the user to type in the year. All right. So without delay, let us start with the coding. So as you can see here, I have also uh, already declared my input uh, object and then imported the necessary um, class, okay, the class scanner. So this is because the program will allow the user to key in using the keyboard. So that's it. So now what is left is for us to um, declare the various variables that will be used in this program. So the first variable to declare, I'm going to call it number underscore month. So number underscore month here is going to be uh, the number that the user is going to key in and then which will allow us to determine uh, the, the month, okay, like January or February. And after that variable, I'm also going to declare a second variable that I'm going to call year. So this is also to allow the user to key in a particular year, for example. Aside that, I will also declare another variable that I'm going to call uh, number of days in a month. Okay, so it's a little bit long because I want it to be uh, self-explanatory, okay? And then I'm going to have the last variable that I'm going to call month, okay? So this is going to be the actual month, okay? Like February, March, or April, or May, or something like that. So these are the various variables that I'm going to be needing uh, in this uh, program. Then I need to write an output statement and that output statement is simply going to be used to prompt the user to do something, okay? It's going to prompt the user to enter the value inside the program. So I'm going to say, what is the number of the month? Okay, so this is actually what is going to be asking the user. So when we are going to run our program, this line, this string is going to be the first text that the user is going to see in the program. Then, so now I need to write the appropriate code to allow the user to enter the value. So we say that the variable number underscore month is the variable that is going to be used to hold the value entered by the user. So the integer value entered by the user. So we will say console. Console is the name of our input object. And then next int because number underscore month, that variable is of type integer as we declared it here. All right. So after entering the variable corresponding to the uh, the number of the month, we will write another output statement uh, that we're going to say system other print line, and we will also write another text or string here to prompt the user to enter another value. So we will say enter, uh, we can say now we need you to enter the year. So we say we need you to enter the year. So down here, I'm going to say year. Okay, the variable year must be equal to the input object console, then next int, because year also is of type integer. So that's it. 
all right so after doing that we are now going to uh, choose between uh, the various loop structures okay or the various conditional uh, statements so instead of using the if statement or the if else statement i think in this uh, program um, specifically it's better to use the switch case so i'm going to say switch and then in uh, the condition here must be um, the number entered by the user. Okay, so because based on that, we are going to determine the month, if it is January, February, or March. And then we will also be able to determine the, the number of days in that particular month. So we will say open the curly braces and I'm going to say case one. So that means when the user enters the number one, we want to say that the value one is corresponding to the month of January. So if you can recall, the variable month here is what we declared as a string up here. So that's why I'm using it in the switch case and it's holding the value January, which is uh, a set of characters. So it's a string. And down here, we can now determine the number of days in the month. So we know that January has 31 days, all right? So we have here another variable that we call number of days in the month. It's now time for us to use that variable. So I'm gonna say number of days in a month like this, and then assignment statement 31. Then down here, I'm, saying, I'm gonna say break. In order to make sure that we exit our loop structure all right so i'm simply gonna copy this so i'm going to do for the second case so here i'm gonna say if case two all right so the month must be february so now we know that uh when we're talking about months and years the month of february is a little bit different because it depends if it is a leap year the month of february has a different number of days than when it is not a leap year for example so it's now time for us to determine that so in order to do that we are first of all going to i'm going to remove this now and i'm going to write a if statement in here so that if statement is going to help me determine whether the particular year entered by the user is a leap year or not so in order to determine that i'm going to say year modulus four equal equal zero and then so so that means that this is the condition if this condition then returns true that means that the particular year uh, that the user has entered is a leap year so that means also that the number of days in the month of february will now be equal to 29 so i'm going to say number of of days in a month equal 29 like this and then i will say else number of days in a month equal 28 as usual so that's it and then here i'm gonna break to make sure that we exit the switch case statement so for the rest of uh, the code i'm simply gonna copy this portion of code here case one and i'm gonna paste it a bunch of times so let me first do case three for case three we have the march here march is uh normally march the month of march has 31 days okay that's okay so case four that's april so i'm gonna say april and it has 30 days case five that's may and it has 31 days case six that's june june has 30 days july okay case seven is going to be july then case case eight will be august so august and july they do have the same number of days so 31 days all right so case nine is going to be september september has 30 days case 10 that's it for october october which has 31 days the last but one is um, november november has 30 day then finally december 
December has uh, 31 days. So that's it concerning the switch case statement. So outside of the switch case statement, I'm now going to write an output statement. So after the program has decided based on the switch statement, which one is the corresponding month and the number of days, then I need this output statement to output the result. Okay, so what I'm going to write in here is going to be, I'm simply going to say the month, the month of, then I'm going to say concatenation month because that's the variable we declared. Okay, so we are getting the error here because it's saying we need to initialize it. I'm going to say it does not exist. And here I'm going to write another concatenation. I will say, yeah, and I will say has bring it down here okay number of days in a month so yes so i need to initialize the variable number of days as well so i'm simply going to say zero like this so you can also note that in a year, we have 12 months. So that means that the user must type between the value one and 12. But what happens if the user types uh, a number, an integer number that is outside of that range? So we need to output a specific message for that. So that's when we're going to write default in our switch case statement, we will uh, write a default. And that default is going to determine the kind of message the user will get whenever he types uh, a value that is outside of the range, which is one and 12, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna say default here and inside, I simply gonna say inside the system that are the print line, I'm simply going to write um, month like this. So I'm writing month. That means that if the user types a value that is outside of the range, that is like 14 or, you know, any kind of number like that, which is not comprised between one and 12, it's going to get this message does not exist. All right. So we initialized the variable month by giving it the string value does not exist. So when I'm using it in the switch case down here, so that's the value we initialized at the beginning is going to be used. But if case 12 is chosen, then we can see that the value stored in month has changed by December. Okay, so that's actually how the program is going to run. So now let me show you the result of this our small program. So I'm going to run. So I say, what is the number of the month? I will say, for example, two, and then press enter. And it says, now you need to enter um, the year. I will say 2020, then press enter. And as you can see, the month of February 2020 has 29 days. Why? Because 2020 is a leap year. So the month of February had 29 days. So if I change this, I say number still number two. I say that I want for the year 2021. As you can see, the month of February 2021 has 28 days. Okay, so why? Because 2021 is not a leap year. So that means that the month of February has 28 days. So, uh, so th this is how it works. And you can just play around it and then change some few stuff to have a different output. But uh, the skeleton of this small program is this one. Let me type the last one. For example, I can say uh, 9, okay, 2020, press enter. So the month of September 2020 has 30 days. So that's it concerning this uh, small program. So I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.